Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, this past week we got over 13 inches of snow. So I wanted to take the Equinox out and see how well it could perform in the snow. In my honest opinion, it does pretty good. I really couldn't find any malfunctions with it, but uh, here's my results guys. But I also wanted to go over some tips, tricks, and maybe even some hints that I do with my detector to maybe help you out with your setting. So before we get into the video, I actually got some really cool drone footage, and then that's going to lead into the video. So enjoy this footage, guys. So I'm here with my first signal. It's actually a pretty good one. It's coming up at 26. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's really windy today. Uh, we're just gonna stay out for a little bit though. Not very long at all. Let's see what this good signal is. So I see it right, it's actually, uh, it's right here. I guess that's what, yeah, okay. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a dime which would make sense coming up a uh, 24 22 on the equinox 600 it's not a bad first sign i expect probably to find a good bit of these we got about um i'd say almost a foot of snow so what i did was i just took my foot and i just cleared a path and i'm just i'm just going to detect this path real quick and then once i'm done with this path i'll move on to this path over here so here's actually a pretty decent signal as you can see it's it's showing about eight inches down on the detector. Uh, pretty solid tone. I'm gonna dig this, see what it is. All right, that's a good sign. I got it out of the plug. Come on, please be a ring. I'd love to find a ring in like a foot of snow. I would make the perfect video ah, ah, ah i see it darn it it's not a ring but it's something that if i save up might be able to buy a ring oh this is a penny that's that's definitely not what i heard i uh a penny comes up like a 22 maybe even a 21 sometimes on the equinox i think there's more coins in here all right well i searched my plug and I guess maybe it was the penny. So, on to the next hole. Here's an interesting signal. So, right in here, it's showing an 18, 19. But it's also showing about uh, six inches down in the dirt. So I'm going to dig this and I'm going to see what it is. All right, so I, I think I got it out of the plug now. I'm gonna take my pen pointer and maybe see if I can find it. Oh, well, that's not a good sign. It's in here somewhere. I got a night crawler. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Wow. Man, 
I hate that, but that's part of it. That's definitely part of metal detecting. I could have swore that was going to be some sort of coin. I didn't know if it was even going to be an old coin, but my goodness, eight inches down in the dirt. It ended up being about six inches. So, but you got to dig that if you want to find the old stuff. I'm actually liking this new setup that I'm rocking on the detector. All right, so first thing I do is I um, noise cancel. I got my ground balance on zero just because there's a lot of snow on the ground. Like I said, it's like almost a foot of snow on the ground. I didn't know how well that function would work. And right now it's actually not throwing my detector off at all. I got my volume down just so I can talk and it's not sitting here beeping in my face. Got that, my threshold is on zero. I got five tones on. I switch between five and 50 tones. I like both of them. 50, you can kind of hear that distinct silver a little bit more but right now i'm just trying to keep it basic i should probably keep two and one on just for you know just in case whereas like high signal wise everything above 35 i got notched out i really wasn't finding anything uh that was ringing up you know in those numbers to be really good i mean i imagine there is still stuff i i know like i think like a liberty dollar or something is like a 36 but <laughs> you don't really find them too much and well obviously i probably won't find them but that's the system i like running especially like right now um now this is pretty important this is my um iron bias i believe and then my f2 feature i also have both on zero what that does is that's just going to allow my detector to pretty much find anything that's underneath the ground you know i'm not you know canceling out pretty much anything but I also got my recovery speed on three. So what that means is it'll depict, like if there's more targets in the ground side to side, it'll actually give me a beep for each one of those targets. So if I got uh, a penny right here, but then I also got a dime right here, it'll be able to depict both of them targets out. Whereas if I put it on one, it might just kind of read the penny and tell me that the penny's there, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. All right, so whenever I talked about recovery speed, this is actually a perfect example of what I mean. Watch how slow I have to swing my detector to find both of these signals in the ground. There's two low tones in here, but watch how slow I have to swing my detector to find both of them. See how it's kind of like hesitating? There's one right there, but then there's another one right here. I'm going to crank my recovery speed up to three and watch what I can do now. See how it like snaps onto that? Like it just, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It just snaps right onto it. I don't have, I feel like I'm not even slowing my swing down. Right there, just like that. Hear both of them beep, 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 beep. It's fine and I mean it's right over top of them. So recovery speed on three is actually really good. However, I've been told that you don't get the best depth with it. Like if you want to dig deeper, guys, go on your lower numbers. But right now for what I'm doing today, recovery speed three is perfect. So just to show you all kind of that this detector was telling the truth. I mean, this came out of this plug right here, and this came out of that plug. So I mean, that recovery speed does work, guys. And if you use it correctly, you'll definitely find more targets. This is dedication at the finest. Check out what I'm doing. So I'm making a path with my foot just so I can get enough clearance to swing my detector. It's actually working out pretty good. Uh, it just makes me sweat a little bit. A little, uh, extra work but that's what you got to do whenever you got that metal detecting itch and you think you're today's your day to find something good well we'll see how that turns out so i got my path cleared out let's see how long it takes for me to find a pretty decent diggable signal not too long at all There we go. Nothing left in the plug. I got it out. I hope it's a dime. I've been finding like pennies. I'd like to find something 
a little bit more value. Please be a dime. Please. Nope. Dang it. Another penny. I tell you what. I don't know if it's worth all that, all that extra energy just to find one penny. I don't know. I'll give her a couple more swipes. All right, guys, I wanted to switch up my luck a little bit. The first person wasn't kicking it right now. I got another good signal right here. It's a solid 16, which is, it's got potential, but uh, I'm gonna dig it. Let's see what we got. All right, I got it out of the plug. I don't know. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. If you can, I'm sorry, just deal with it for a little bit. <sighs> Come on, solid 16, man. Give me something different. I'm not even asking for a ring. Give me something different. Just, I mean, you know, just something, a knife, maybe a knife. That would, sounds good right now. And I, <laughs> wow, you talk about like some bad luck. I said, give me something different. It did. Gave me a, uh, a different looking bottle cap or a bottle tab or whatever, whatever it is, it can go back in the trash. <laughs> that's, that's just dirty, man. Like literally dirty. This right here, this type of tone is what I came here for today. A 15, 14, this is perfect ring tone. I'm gonna go ahead and dig this. Hopefully we got ourselves a ring. We got it out, baby. Come on. Please be something. Oh my God. No. Oh my gosh, dude. No way. Well, definitely, uh, definitely the last thing that I wanted to find was one of these. Another bottle cap. So this one right here is pretty interesting, guys. I got a tone right there, but then I also got a tone up here. My guess is bottle cap right here, and maybe, maybe a dime right there. Let's see. I'm hoping that bottle cap though might turn itself into the ring here in the next like, I don't know, three seconds. Oh, no, I thought that was nuts. Dude, I thought that was definitely going to be a ring. I thought I seen like the hole of a, a ring where your finger would go through. I was about to start screaming. Ah, I don't even know what it is. I think it's, I think it's just a penny. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Man. All right, let's see. There's still something else in here though. All right, there's the other fine. Let's see. Is it a dime though? Okay, I, I'll actually take that. I mean, I, I kind of wish it was silver, but... I'll take that, it's a dime. It's better than a penny. Worth nine more cents than a penny, so that's good. Let's see if there's anything else in this hole though. I have a feeling that there is. Yep, just what I thought. They're still at 14. I remember seeing that 14 on my uh, VDI. So this might be the bottle cap. Uh oh, I see gold, dog. I see gold, come on, come on. Oh, bro, they, now they just, now they're screwing with me. Now they're screwing with me. I respect that though. I, I will respect that. Because it didn't look like a bottle cap. You hear me? It didn't. Swear to you, it didn't. What they did though is they're like, we're just going to cut this bottle cap in half and make it look even more like a ring. So that makes perfect sense. And I appreciate that, guys. Whoever did that, love you. I'll tell you what though, guys. If you take a look at the head of my coil, I purposely did this just to see like if it would mess up the detector at all. And it's actually not doing anything to it. I don't know if that's a surprise or not, but it definitely adds to the uh, the weight of it. Makes it feel like I'm swinging a, an ax instead of a detector, but. All right guys, so my hands are frozen. I really can't feel them. 
So I'm deciding to call it a video. Might not be the best quality video, guys, but it's still it was still a lot of fun. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. The Equinox actually did pretty well in the snow. I was surprised. Um, the cold really didn't affect it too much. So yeah, I was surprised. But until next time, guys, enjoy, stay safe, and have fun. I don't know where I'm going with this outro, but I gotta go.